yes, we start the day off with another yummy breakfast. We didn't really feel like going on another excursion because the weather wasn't great, so we decided to visit downtown Veradero instead. So we got one of the horse carriage taxis to take us downtown, but I think the horse didn't like me very much here. You could also get around Veradero by the bus or one of the vintage car taxis, which was our first choice, but we couldn't find one, so we save it for another day. After only about 10 minutes, we arrived at one of the markets that were scattered around Varadero. There are so many of them, we just stopped at the first one we could find. Mm. These markets had everything from paintings to souvenirs and clothes and wooden sculptures and all kinds of handmade crafts. I really loved their little decorations and ornaments. They were all so colorful for putting in your house. We saw these wooden handmade trivets for pots and they were so adorable. So we got three of them and mom picked the horse, the cat, and the one with the man with a cigar. We saw this hanging owl ornament and it was so cute. We had to resist buying it too. A lot of things are made of wood here. There was a woman who was actually decorating one of the plates and it was really cool to watch. Time flew by so fast as we were browsing and it was lunchtime again so we came to this restaurant that was supposed to have the best lobster in Varadero so I was really hoping that it would be yummy. I loved the inside atmosphere, there were musicians and also Christmas trees. Although this chair looked like it could collapse any moment. Turns out we had arrived not a moment too soon because it started pouring outside. The lobster was way too salty and I love how the decoration was half a piece of lettuce and a quarter of a tomato. But we don't talk about that. As soon as the rain stopped, we headed off to the largest market in Varadero. <laughs> Different. <laughs> 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 This man was showing us this magic box which only he could open and I could not for the life of me figure out how to open it. I literally stood there for 10 minutes trying to figure it out while my mom laughed at me. No, no, you open it. <laughs> the guy said that he would only show us if we bought the boxes and of course we gave in to temptation. Curiosity killed the cat, right? Oh. <laughs> we 
<laughs> oh, oh, I did it. Very good. 你会了吧？你回去得教我，要不然回去我给二子那他我我都打不开。会了。回来。They even sold these toy vehicles, which were made of used cans, and they were really creative, even though they looked oddly out of place. It was getting late, so we started heading back to the resort, and we saw this new kind of taxi, which was a combination between a train and a shuttle. But hold on! On the way back, we passed this really beautiful beach that was slightly hidden behind some houses. But we were just in time for the sunset, and it was so beautiful that we had to take a stop and take a walk here. When we finally got back to the resort, it was the first time I realized how pretty it was at night. I was absolutely famished from that disappointing lobster at lunch, and it was one of our last buffets here, so I loaded up my plate. And of course, we can't forget dessert. After our yummy breakfast, we decided to go downstairs in the resort to the bar slash cafe, where we got a cappuccino each to enjoy on the patio. It was an unusually warm day, finally, thankfully, so we could actually afford to sit outside. But it's been so cold this past week and windy that we couldn't before. I feel like we didn't really get a chance to fully relax here because I was doing my exam and also I was busy filming half the time. But honestly, even hanging out with my mom filming was also super fun. So we made lots of nice memories here. Actually, that was just the warm up because there is this Chinese viral dance that got popular recently, and I really wanted to film it all across Varadero for my YouTube short. So I basically learned it in a few hours in the hotel room, and yes, we had to improvise with the setup here. We set off downtown again to film, and thankfully it was a beautiful day. Here's a snippet of me dancing in public with my non-existent dancing skills, but hey, it was so fun, so it was worth it. Anyway, that's enough of that. We tried to head to the sunset beach again to film, but it was too late. We didn't catch the sunset. Although we did get a nice ride in the Coco taxi, which is this tiny little car that looked like a coconut. After that workout of a day, we came to this reservation we made at the hotel. At a Japanese restaurant, and I should have realized that it was sus to eat Japanese food in Cuba, but we decided to take the plunge and try it out. <laughs> Hola. 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 Hola.
Even though the sushi was super weird and did not taste like sushi at all, we had fun watching our hibachi chef Leo cook and he had such a warm and bubbly personality. <laughs> Since it was our last day, of course we had to go back to visit the ocean and the wonderful beach one more time. Thankfully, it did not rain again and then I was back to filming my dance. Then as a dance break, we actually found this cute little art gallery and it had so many different kinds of paintings inside. One thing I noticed is that Cuban people love art and all the art they make is always really colorful and vibrant. Hence why my favorite is actually this one, which is a huge painting that's super colorful and I would love to have that in my kitchen. Sadly, all the paintings we really liked were huge ones or they were paper ones that we didn't really want to roll up into our luggage, so we couldn't buy any. They reminded me of when I used to take painting classes with my dad. Okay, so basically we were filming in this park and once we finished, when we were walking out, my mom just inadvertently turned around and she spotted a Barbie pink car. So remember when in Old Havana, I saw this Barbie car and I was like, oh my gosh, that is my car. I need to ride in that at least once during this trip. And once we turned onto the street, my mom just looked back for some reason and she saw that car driving past, but it had passengers in it. And it was turning into the park we had just left. And so we literally ran back into the park to track the car down. And we watched it circle around the pond in the middle. And then the car stopped because it was letting the passengers off to take pictures. And we went to chase down the car and we actually made it and we made it in perfect time that the driver went for a smoke and also the passengers were outside of the car taking pictures and so i ran over to get pictures with this car because i was just like my outfit totally matched the car too and it was just perfect but anyway here are some live photos because Obviously, I didn't have enough time to take a proper video here, but I just went over and I made my mom snap like 20 pictures in a row. So yeah, even though I never actually got to ride in one because they were always occupied, I at least got a picture with it and I am satisfied. Then we found this bar called Floridita, which is actually named after the same bar in Old Havana that Hemingway used to frequent. So we went to only one of them, but we didn't find this Floridita one, which is the more famous one.
also um, has pineapple juice and brown sugar. And this is the Hemingway special. Um, I think Hemingway likes to drink it. It's double rum and lemonade and something else. I don't remember. <laughs> It was my lucky day because as soon as we came out of the bar, I spotted a Cadillac that was driving past and we waved it over. Let me tell you, the Barbie car was obviously an exception because you never see pink cars anywhere else but in Cuba. But other than that, I actually really love red cars. We took it back to our hotel and honestly, this was the best end to our trip. I got to pose beside all of my favorite cars and pretend that I owned them. And I also have to thank my mom for being my wonderful and patient videographer. It was Christmas Eve and our last night here. This week had passed so fast before we even knew it. This time in between the 